Split and solid seal assembly instructions. Make sure the shaft is totally clean of any wear, dirt, oils, or grease before installing seal and the vessel wall is clean and flat. Assemble stainless steel split mounting plate around shaft. Make sure the split line is uniform with no raised edges at the split line. Housing must be perpendicular, normal to the shaft. Make sure alignment of the housing to shaft does not exceed one degree and check for equal spacing around the shaft and the ID of the seal. If O-ring groove is present, place O-ring in mounting plate groove and slide the mounting plate onto studs or if you are using bolts, up to the bulkhead. If the O-ring is not used, then RTV the plate to vessel wall with a thin bead. If there are any raised tack welds preventing the plate to lie flat, then counter bores must be machined into end plate. Next, assemble PTFE rotor cups around shaft using two machine screws in each cup. Rotor cup bores should face each other when installed. Hand tighten the screws so that the seams mate evenly. Apply a maximum of 0.3 feet per pound of torque. Do not over tighten screws. This may cause damage to the PTFE rotor cups. For a split rotor cup installation, place split boot around the shaft between the rotor cups. Glue the split puzzle cut with RTV. Put a good amount in the split line and hold glue joint together for a minimum of five minutes for curing purposes. Do not RTV the split line if you plan on pulling the seal apart to clean it regularly. If you're installing a solid rotor cup, place lubricant along the inner diameter of the blue boot. For solid seals, use only soapy water or supplied P80. Do not use oil or other lubricant grease on the ID of boot to slide on the shaft. Gently push the solid blue elastic customer boot through the shaft up to the white PTFE rotor cups. Now push rotor cups and boot together. Boot hubs should fit into the bores within the rotor cups. Slide assembly on shaft until inboard rotor cup seats up against the inner housing bore surface. There should be a slight resistance on the shaft when moving parts. Make sure the inside rotor cup where boot fits is kept clean. The rotor cup should be oriented with each other so their split lines are 90 degrees apart from each other. Assemble the stainless steel split housing around shaft. The split line must be uniform with no raised edges at the split line. Place the housing against end plate and fasten together and orient air tubing in desired position when mounting housing on four studs. Tighten all external bolts to manufacture recommended torques. Finally, attach a 1 8 inch NPT airline fitting into housing and attach airline with pressure regulator to tubing port. Each seal needs to have its own dedicated pressure regulator. Turn on air supply and jog shaft a few turns. There should be no binding or grinding. There may be a slight air leakage. If excessive, adjust pressure so there is minimum leakage. Run equipment and observe whether there is any product leakage. If so, air pressure may need to be increased. Now your cinch seal installation is complete.